I'm David Keeler and this is our desktop pulse air tonometer. It's uh, the third in our range of tonometers and very recently introduced. It uses the same software as the very successful IntelliPuff device. The footprint on this instrument is very small and that makes it very easy for the operator to see around the instrument and position it on the patient. The illumination on the desktop pulse air is LED so you don't have to be concerned about changing bulbs and the price point on this instrument is excellent. Moving along to the instrument itself, uh, the alignment of the patient in the chin rest, the height is achieved by adjusting this wheel and there's an O-ring at this point on the left which should be in line with the patient's outer canthus. Then the fine tuning of height is achieved by turning this knob here. The alignment of the instrument itself is achieved by moving the platform and when you move from left to right it will register on the screen and also be shown on the printout. Going to the operation of the instrument, once you've turned the instrument on from the main switch in the front, you have three operating switches here and there are three underneath here for the screen. And on this one you have the color adjustment for the screen, you have the contrast wheel in the middle and then on the far right you have the brightness wheel for adjusting the brightness of the screen. On the left here we have a start stop button and this will put it into standby. If you move the table then it will automatically activate. There is a sensor in the machine. If you leave it on for more than two minutes in standby it will automatically turn off. The center button has clear and demo so you can clear the memory in the instrument and also if you hold the button in it will do a demonstration puff for the patient they can hold the hand in front of the instrument here and get some idea of the uh, intensity of the puff. On the far right you've got the printout so you press to print out and also it will bring up the menu so holding this in for about three seconds you will bring up the buzzer and you can adjust the buzzer and then you can adjust the IOP decimal point position and um, also you can have the printer on or off by pressing this button and the final function on the menu on the right is the self test which is a 45 second calibration check. On the platform here there's an easy pulse button and if this is pressed in then easy pulse will come up on the screen and this opens up the parameters of the instrument so that it will be able to take readings on difficult corneas such as scarred corneas. On the front we have the printer paper and the printout will give all readings taken left and right eye. On the maintenance side basically the only check that has to be made is of the lens around the puff tube on the front and you can use a q-tip with alcohol in order to make sure that is clean and that information is contained in the operator's manual of the desktop pulse air. Once you have the patient aligned correctly as I previously mentioned then fine tuning of the height of the pupil in the screen is done by adjusting the joystick here then you just very simply bring the instrument in you'll see the crosshairs appear and then the reading will be taken there